transferring the files from your iPhone to a Linux machine. That's what we're doing in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meissen and I make videos on beep beep stuff. Now, if you have an iPhone and you have a Linux computer, then you're gonna be looking at how to transfer the files between the iPhone and the Linux machine, as well as some other features also as well. I'm gonna be showing you a small utility today called KD Connect. So let's just cut right to the chase, straight over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how exactly how to do that and what it looks like. So now we're at the computer, I'm gonna show you how to use KD Connect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my phone here. You will see it on the screen also as well. And one thing you're going to look for first is you're going to look for an application called KDE Connect. You'll find this on the App Store. As you can see, now I've loaded this up, I already have this installed. Now, when you do this the first time, it's going to look for devices on your network. I already have, as you can see at the top, it says Manjaro, Robert Manjaro. Now, when I press this, uh, you can see the kind of things that we can do here. So we can push local clipboard, which is really helpful, especially when you're buying stuff online. You can copy and paste like your card information, for example, without having to type it in. You can just copy and paste it from. It's really useful for that. Send photos and videos, files, run commands. You can even do remote input, which is really interesting. I can actually quickly show you that because it's kind of cool. So you press remote input and basically just move around. And uh, if you move around on the phone, uh, as you can see here, it, remo it moves the mouse, which is uh, it's weird, but also cool. But you can also send photos and uh, videos. So I press send photos and videos. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of stuff on here. I could send uh, this old photo of myself. And if I press add, it prepares that. And as you can see at the top of my screen here, it's opened up here. And now what I can do is I can uh, open the containing folder. And you can see the file here that I just sent. So uh that's how you can send files between your um iphone and linux using kd connect it's also interesting because you can actually run this the other way around so you can go to your bars at the top here and you can see kde connect here i can see my phone i can see the battery and also i can share files to the phone and it will go to the files app and i can also ring it from here as well so i can find stuff that way so it's really useful for that so that's KD Connect. Um, they keep adding more features all the time, but uh, basically sending files between your phone and your Linux machine is really easy with that. It uses local discovery stuff on the network. So basically as soon as you load it up, if it finds another device uh, that has KD Connect already installed, Manjaro and stuff like that already has it. If you have KDE as your desktop environment, then basically it will work and you just press on that and it will ask to pair and that's it. Uh, and then it will start working. So that's uh, using KDE Connect to send files uh, backwards and forwards from your phone, iOS to Linux. So I hope that that video was really helpful for you. KDE Connect is a super cool little program. I'm really excited for that program and seeing how the development of that will go forward. Um, so do click on the link in the description below for the KDE Connect project to see ways of supporting that project and promoting its growth. As always, my name is Robert Meisen and I will see you in the next video.